I was son of immigrants. My father is from Jalisco. My mother is from Sonora. I'm a Tejana. I was born in Texas. There was history that we learned sitting around the table, but there was no reflection of it in the books at all. My family was the first family out of the barrio to send someone to college. There were 44 Mexican Americans out of I think 28,000 students at that time. I had always grown up in an environment where, you know, 90% of the people around me were just like me. To go into UT Austin, there's no other way to put it. It was like being transported to an alien world. I never had a Mexican-American professor, period, either as an undergraduate or as an MA student. Disparaging stereotypes of Mexicans were ever-present. When Mexicans or Mexican-Americans were mentioned in, in Texas historiography, it was always cast in terms of either criminal, revolutionary, bandit. This was a time when you know, ethnic studies simply were not yet institutional practice. Juan Gomez Quinones, who really is one of the pioneers, I told him, you know, I, I really want to know more about, about Chicano history. He said, all right, let's send you into East LA, let's go, you go interview those people. I'm just sucked in, right? Oh man, first time I've ever had an opportunity to know something about the group from which I'm a part, right? That year, I would say, 69, 70, I became Chicano. I became Chicano. It's a movement created, Chicano Studies. Without the movement, we wouldn't be around. It wasn't that the Chancellor here all of a sudden woke up one morning and said, oh, it would be great to have Chicano Studies. That came as a result of protests and demonstrations. This is uh, the era of the walkouts across California in Texas. They accomplished in those walkouts more than we did in the previous 20 years. You couldn't have one without the other. Right, you had to have a social movement tied to an ethnic identity, a renaissance, if you will. It was a generational flowering. There were scores of people like me now pushing the boundaries of what constituted elements of the American experience. It was absolutely essential that the Chicano experience be embedded in every aspect of Chicano studies. It was a lifeline to finally put together my experiences. When we started, we knew so little. And look where we are now. We know so much more about the Chicano Latino experience. Chicano Studies has allowed us to see a diversity in the American experience where my generation growing up in public schools had no inkling of whatsoever. At a time when our democracy, I believe, is in danger, we need to know those stories again to empower our students, empower our communities. This is still, in many ways, still part of the beginning.